I'm going to walk through using GarageBand for Mac with the Artifon Instrument 1. GarageBand is a great musical program and the perfect place to get started making music with the computer. I'm going to start at artifon.com slash downloads. I'll be using the Instrument 1 editor for Mac and our GarageBand staff session. Download it yourself so you can follow along. I'll unzip and open the GarageBand session. And the first thing I'm going to do is open the preferences and change the audio output to the Instrument 1. This is going to make the sound come out of the speakers on board the Instrument 1. I'll also install the Instrument 1 editor and then open it. And I'll start with the guitar preset. Switching back to GarageBand, the first selected track is an acoustic guitar. The rows on the left side are tracks with different instruments. By clicking these tracks, I can play different sounds, like a piano. Notice how I'm still playing this like a guitar, strumming and using guitar chord shapes. That's the beauty of the Instrument 1. You can play any sound with any technique that you want. I choose the sound in GarageBand and then customize my technique with the Instrument 1 editor. Now I'm going to change my Instrument 1 to play smart strum. Now I can easily strum full piano chords with the touch of a finger. So now I'll choose my sound and record something. Maybe a harp, or the electric guitar, maybe a sitar, or a banjo. Yeah, I'll go for the banjo. Before I hit record, let's look at the buttons up top. We've got play, stop, record. This is the loop button. And we've also got fast forward and rewind. In the middle, there's the key and the tempo. I'm going to slow this down. There's also a metronome and the count in, which will give me a count of four beats before I start recording. Now I'll record my chord progression on the banjo. After recording, you can see that I've created a region here. I'll double click that and open it up and play it back. These notes are musical data called MIDI. The Instrument 1 sends information to the computer in the form of these notes, not actual sound. This means that I can take this region and drag it to another track and it'll play back as a different sound. I'm going to undo that. This is really important. Don't be afraid to try things and make mistakes, because you can always undo. Now I'm going to add drums, so I'll choose the drum track. Drums will always be saved to the fourth preset on the Instrument 1. Alright, here I go. That sounded good. So now I'm going to lay down a bass line. I'll switch to the jazz bass sound and switch over to the editor and open the bass folder. I want a fretless bass. I'm happy with what I have so far, so I'm going to save it and give it a new name. I'll also clean up the session a bit by deleting these unused tracks. I'm going to add a new track with the plus button here, and I want a software instrument. This will also open up the sound library. This library has all of the different sounds that you can play with the Instrument 1 in GarageBand. There's a lot to explore here. Maybe something orchestral, a uh, pipe organ would be cool. So I'm going to change to the piano preset on the instrument. And how about the wedding organ?
I want to add some percussion, so I'm going to grab some loops to fill out the track a bit. I can open the loops with this button up here. The loops are sorted by their instrument. I'll go for a tambourine. This one sounds good. And I'll also add a shaker. Now these loops aren't long enough for the four bars, so I just have to drag them to make them loop again. Now these loops I've added are too loud, so I'm going to do some basic mixing. I can control the volume of these individual tracks with the faders here. bass down a bit, and turn that organ down, that level feels a bit better. The other control I have is panning, which sets the levels in the left and right ears. I'm going to move the tambourine and the shaker way out to the sides, it will also offset the organ. Now I've got a solid four bar loop, but I want to make an actual song. So I'm going to arrange my parts by dragging the regions and looping them. I want to build the song by gradually adding in new parts. The last part I'm going to add is a melody. So I'm going to use the piano preset, but add a new track and choose a synthesizer lead. Alright, that's my song, so now it's time to make it into an mp3 file. First I'm going to save, and last I'll go to share, and share my song to iTunes. Thanks for watching, good luck, and have fun creating!